Morning guys, welcome back to the cave. Um I thought I might do don't know if I'm doing one or two videos today. I don't know if any of you saw the photos I put up on Facebook and Instagram yesterday or the photo I put up of the pens that I did. So I thought the day I'd just do a quick video show you how I did one of the pens. This one's gonna be Epsilon. Um came from Taylor's Murfield. I'm going to be using the uh, between centers mandrel. I've already cut down the pen blank. This is burr uh, elm. I've cut down the pen blank. I've drilled it out. I've got the brass tube in. So I'm just going to get set up and we'll go ahead and do some turning. So I'm just going to adjust the camera and then we'll get onto it. Right, so that's it set up. I've got a dead centre in this end, live centre on this end. The mandrels, uh, you've got a smaller one and a larger one. The larger one goes towards the, sorry, the smaller one goes towards the nib. I'm just going to be using my skew chisel to turn it. And we're turning it. About 2,600. That's it turned, we're just going to get it sanded. I've sanded it down to 600 and I'm just going to put some acrylic sand and sealer on. Now I'm putting on Yorkshire Grit Microfine. I'm going to finish it off using some canoe wax.
So that's the turn and done. So what I'll do now, I'm going to readjust the camera and we'll put the pen to Right, so here's the setup I've got. Now I was watching a live feed from Richard Morley yesterday and he had just got himself a new pocket hole jig and he said he was going to adapt the old one into a pen press. I've got the Craig one, um, pocket hole jig, so I thought I'd just give it a give it a go and see how it works. See if it can be used as a as a pen press. So the first thing you do with this one is there's a very small nib holder that gets pressed in first that goes obviously in where the nib is going to go so just get this adjusted with the nib and everything on it might be that it it doesn't I'll not be able to get the full length in of the pen in fact, what I'll do, I'll leave that in for now. Right, so we'll just press that in like that, and that works absolutely fine. Then what you do is, I've already put the the clip onto this. This part is the the mechanism holder. So you press that bit in next. I think what I'm going to have to do is take take this back out just to give us a bit more room gets pressed in there like that then I'm going to put the, the nib in like that then you take the refill these are Parker refills that gets used put the spring on the refill drop the refill in take the mechanism screw that in and then take the end cap and you just press on the end cap like that that's the pen finished it's a twist pen and I think that's turned out quite nice so I'll just adjust the camera again and then we'll get finished off right so that's us done there's the pen I'll probably not put photograph. Well, I might put a photograph up. Um, the kits come from Taylor's Murfield, the based in West, York West Yorkshire. They do have a, a website. Do very good service. This is the Epsilon one. Uh, some of the ones I did yesterday was Zeta, um, which again is a one piece, so they're nice and easy to do between centres. You don't need to have a, a full mandrel set or anything. Uh, nice looking pen. Uh, finishes well with the Carnuba wax. I'll put a link in the description um, for Taylor's Murfield. Also, um, make a central. That's coming up. It's not long now. 11th and 12th of May at the NEC. Um, it's, it's going to be. A, I think it's going to be a lot bigger than it was last year. Um, I'll put a link to the the website for that. Um, what else is going on? Oh yeah, Steve Trudell. Um, is doing a running an auction uh, Temple Boy Turnings for a young lass in the state who's got lots and lots of medical issues um, so I'll put a link to that as well you can donate pieces if you want to put them into the auction you can sign up or uh, register to actually take part in the auction and buy something it's not just about what you make um, it doesn't have to be something you've made 
if you've got any old tools that you're not using anymore and you think somebody might have use for them stick that up uh, it's all going to a, to a good cause uh, like I say I'll put the link up have a read about uh, this lass um, and hopefully donate something or go along and buy something the auction's going on from the 21st of Feb through till the 28th of Feb so it's uh, you know you've got a good seven days there to, to uh, get something bought right then I think that's me for now so I'll uh, I'll get away and I'll probably see you next weekend oh next weekend I'm popping out for a visit across to Morbeth I'm going to see Dave the Wood Barber um, so there might be some footage of what we're doing there I don't know if we're going to do a bit of a quick collaboration while uh, while I'm there um, but I'm certainly going across to see Dave next weekend so I'll see you soon cheers now